So, Puss in Boots The Last Wish is finally out in UK cinemas. I think we're the last country to get it. If you don't know what this is, this is the DreamWorks sequel to the Shrek spin-off of Puss in Boots. So this sees Antonio Banderas reprise his role as Puss in Boots. Um, I went to see it on opening day and it's amazing. <laughs> It's amazing. I'm sure if you've been on social media, you, you've already seen the reaction to this film. At the time of recording, it is a contender for Best Animated Feature at the Oscars. Something I was not expecting, and I think this is the only other sort of Shrek film, or in the Shrek universe, that has actually won an Oscar next to the original Shrek back in 2001. I am doing this a couple of days later, after it came out in cinema just because this video might have a couple of spoilers in it. Um, so just be warned, if you haven't seen Puss in Boots The Last Wish, there might be spoilers in this video. But the biggest thing that the fan base has reacted to is the wolf. Um, I'm not gonna tell you what he represents just yet. Chances are you're gonna find out in this video, but he is honestly the best villain that DreamWorks have come out with. He is terrifying, and even when I went to see it in cinema, they did some really interesting um, effects with the speakers and the way that he, in the, well, with the way that he spoke, um, which I thought was quite interesting and something I haven't experienced in a really long time with films in the cinema. Yeah, he's a, he's my favourite character, <laughs> but I thought we'd do a video taking a look at different uh, artworks and edits and that kind of thing to do with the wolf. So what I'm going to start with is like, I'm going to go to YouTube first. I do have a couple of videos and stuff that I've saved, but we're going to go to YouTube and then we'll go to Twitter and then we'll go to TikTok. So let's have a look at YouTube first. I do also just want to quickly point out that in the description all of the links to things that I've reacted to in this video they will be down in the description below in the order that I've reacted to them so don't worry the links to everything will be in the description um, but yeah I guess we're spoiling things straight away <laughs> so near sort of halfway through the film the wolf reveals that he is deaf like, not a representation, not a metaphor, he's deaf. So, uh, someone made a 4K version of his reveal scene. This is by Donya. This is pretty cool. It looks a bit weird in 4K or like in like a higher definition. The lighting looks pretty cool with it though. Yo, look at this! Ah, uh, there we go. You had to put the whistling in there. <laughs> if you don't know as well, like, so Puss in Boots has a similar animation style to like Mitchell vs. the Machines or Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse. Especially during the fight, the fight scenes, they have like a lower frame rate. So I, I, I've seen a few people do this where they take an animation, they change it to like 4K. And while it looks interesting, does it look better? Mm, that I guess that's going to be up to you guys. But for me, some of that looked cool. Most of it looked a bit eh. <laughs> the lighting looked really cool though. I'll give it that. And especially at the end with the round the red ring and the red lighting looked cool. But I, I guess I'll leave that up to you guys. Yeah, like what's your thoughts on people doing 4K renditions of the animated films that don't aren't originally 4k i think it's an interesting discussion but i for me it depends what the film is and what the animation style is this was never meant to be rendered into 4k because of just because of how it's executed but i think it's cool and it's still an interesting experiment a cool experiment to do to see what it would have looked like oh it's this song Yo, that's a good that's a good song to put this to. I didn't think of that. Oh, 
Whoa! Okay, I like this one. <laughs> I like the, the tone changes with this one. Yay! Nice! So with this one, I didn't think... Ah, I think this is by a artist band called Grandson. I think that's who they're by. Um, who, if you don't recognise who they are, they were on the soundtrack for the Suicide Squad. Um, I think a couple of their songs were featured. But yeah, I love this song. I didn't actually think of that. That song with, with Death, the Death Wolf makes a lot of sense. Uh, I like the editing of this one and the tonal changes of the song. Looked, it was really, really nice. That makes sense someone would make a well, horror edit to this. If it isn't <laughs> himself, I do love He's a terrifying character. You will find your reward does not come easy. And I like the this I tell you. death scenes weren't like jokey or anything. The one to defeat me. Like the film actually took him seriously. No one me yet. That's cool. Boots and boots laughs in the face of oh. death. Right? Maybe I'm not laughing now. <laughs> this is cool! And I like sort of the horror music with it. Yes! It makes it this, it, yeah, I didn't think to put like horror music to this. But it makes a lot of sense. That's such a cool shot. Minecraft? Okay. I wasn't really expecting Minecraft, but okay. What's the matter? <laughs> oh, is it because they've got is it um I can't remember what the armor's called. Yeah, I, I haven't played Minecraft in a really long time. But I think that the, the armor that Death was wearing, I think, is stronger than the other one. <laughs> <laughs> That's really silly, but I quite like that. The The video is called When Your Friend Throws Trash Near Your House. Oh, uh, okay. That's what he was tending to pick up. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I was a bit confused by that one. I was like, oh, we put Minecraft in this? Yeah, but then, how about the latest in modern medical technology? Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 What is happening? Thanks for everything, you know, but I am feeling Is this like one of those weird like me made it things? <laughs> oh my god, he's fully charged! <laughs> this is so <laughs> To be fair, the edits are done really well, but it's so dumb. This is serious. Got a spec job. This reminds me of like, if you remember like the Rage comics from the early like 2000s or mid 2000s. Oh god, what are they gonna do with him? Oh my god. I, that was so cute, so I thought my computer broke then. This this reminds me of like, what do you call it? Yeah, like the Rage comics. If you remember like early Facebook and that lot, it reminds me of that kind of thing and those like weird broken memes that everyone used to do. I <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> to be fair, like, uh, I don't want to get serious over something that is really stupid, but. The editing and the amount of editing that has to take place to actually do this stuff is quite, you know, I appreciate it just to make a silly joke video, but I appreciate it. I found it funny. <laughs> hey, I no one thought to do spring trap with this until now. Fear. He looks cool. And again. Zurich. Oh, that looks awesome. And the last thing I've got on the YouTube thing is actually something that's quite you know, emotional and heartfelt. So I want to end it with this. 
Has this one put some boots as elderly? He's got to the end of his last life. Huh? Huh? Took you long enough. Aww. Don't get bulky, Katito. There were a few times where I was about to get you. How was your life? Oh. Hmm. All things considered, I lived it well. Oh, that was really sweet. At the end of the film, Death says, tells Boots to live his life well. I guess this kind of shows that. Do you know the high the high idea of death can be? I don't know. Like death, death the death wolf can be comforting, but also terrifying. And this kind of shows like a more like somber side to him, which I think was quite nice. Oh, this is really sweet. I really like this one, and I like the the drawing style as well. This is very nice. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to Twitter, then TikTok. Uh, with Twitter, what I've done is, again, I've kind of bookmarked some things. So we're just going to go through the bookmarks, otherwise we'll be here all day. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is going to be fun. This is so cool. This is by Kate XYXY. Oh, look at that. Let's see if I can zoom in. There we go. Wow. I have to say, like, the ending battle is probably my favourite, like, death, death wolf sequence, sort of visually. It looked so cool. Oh, that looks amazing. Yo, look at this one. That's so creepy. Oh, you got Puss in Boots in the reflection of his sickle. Oh, that's so cool. I've seen a few like artworks of uh, the wolf in more like realistic um, styles and it looks really cool. Oh this is terrifying and the eyes here. Oh that looks cool. I like how he's licking his lips as well especially with the ending uh, that when he gets frustrated at the end the, the Spanish line that he's saying. Uh, someone told me he's saying why do I always have to play with my food or something? So this kind of goes in line with that. That looks cool. It's by Skier Sky. I hope I'm pronouncing these names right, by the way. But again, all of these links will be in the description below. One of these interpretations of death will also get an Oscar. Yes! So, like I, I think I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, uh, Puss in Boots The Last Wish is a contender for best animated feature at the Oscars, but so is uh, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, which is also fantastic. So, it's kind of weird where, because I, I know one of the Disney films is also nominated, this is an interesting stage where it's like, I don't mind which one of these wins because I think they're both fantastic. I don't want Disney to win because they always do and the Academy always puts them in priority and it sucks. <laughs> so I'm hoping one of these win. How crazy is it that we've got a Puss in Boots sequel being nominated for an Oscar? <laughs> yeah, this is something I also didn't think about. <laughs> Luna and Death. So Luna's from uh, Hell of a Boss, which we've been reacting to on the channel. Uh, I think there's a new episode coming out soon, but I'm not sure when. So uh, what do you do? I kill people. <gasps> really? Me too! <laughs> it's like, what? I mean, technically you both do, yeah. You're not wrong. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I forgot I had this on my bookmarks. <laughs> this is my Okra the Owl. I apologize for mispronouncing, but whoa, look at this. <laughs> That's so creepy. I like the, the detailing here, like the eyes. I just like that it's just a plain red background. That there's nothing else. So your focus has to be on this. That's so cool. Ah. Uh, that looks amazing. 
I like the little, the little paint strokes here as well. Of course I saved this. I think the TikTok trend has finally died, but yeah, <laughs> this was a thing for a while. <laughs> he does have a long nose though, to be fair, in the, the film. I can't, so I, I get why they've done this, but oh. Oh, this is cool. Oh, and when it goes dark, his face changes. He's smiling. Oh, that's awesome. His little waggy tail. <laughs> that's so cool. Memento Mori. Oh, I didn't notice the, um, the lines down here. The blood red lines. I didn't notice them before. Because I've seen this picture, I can't remember where else I've seen it. But I, I've seen it somewhere else. Might be on Instagram actually. But yeah, I, I love this one. Like the more cartoony style is so cool. I love the, the lighting as well, especially his eyes. Like his eyes are really striking in this one. It's interesting how many like different styles there are of him. Like this one for example, like more anime style. Like, it is really cool to see how many art styles um, and how many different ways people are drawing this character. There's been, it, it means there's been a lot of right, really unique artwork of this guy. I mean, again, like, this is what I was saying, like, there are some artists who have done, like, a more realistic um, rendition of this character. And, I mean, look at this one. <laughs> this is amazing. This looks like... He could be a character in like Dungeons and Dragons or like, I don't know, Dark Souls or something like that, like that kind of thing. But, ah, oh, it looks amazing. This is um, Shimhak, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. But I, I know his artwork because he had, uh, he was commissioned by Jack Jacksepticeye to draw his egos. So I, I've seen some of his artwork before, this guy's artwork before. And it's, it's just incredible, it's amazing. So much work goes into these art, all of these artworks as well. Um, and same with this. Yeah, it's really cool to, to have a more realistic look at this character. And then we have my nightmares. <laughs> I like how they've done the, the eyes on this one. That's what makes it terrifying. Like they haven't gone with what the usual eyes would look like. They've gone for like, I don't know, like a, uh, it reminds me of like creepypasta. Like, you'd get these kind of drawings in, like, creepypasta and that kind of thing. This one's really nice, though, as well. But, yeah. Terrifying. Ooh. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that was so cool. Again, like, people were doing so many different like art styles for this character it, it may, it's making for some really interesting artwork as well and I mean like look at this I like how Death's sort of cloak is is sort of the the backdrop as well like he is everywhere and Puss in Boots can't escape him but it, it's a really cool again like a very horror-esque um, rendition of the character which makes a lot of sense for how the film treated him <laughs> I paused Puss in Boots movie and paused it at this part I love the grin <laughs> he looks so <laughs> he looks so cheeky he's like yeah dogs that <laughs> like what I was saying previously with the the picture of his cloak being the backdrop in the woods like this is another really interesting artwork. It looks like sort of a medieval like painting or like old painting. But yeah, this looks really nice as well. If this isn't them, I don't know what is. I've only had Perito for a day and a half, but if anyone happened to him, if anything happened to him, I would kill everyone in this room and then myself. <laughs> everyone loves Perito. He's just so wholesome and cute. He's adorable. No. I mean, this is 
Puss and Boots The Last Wish kind of in a nutshell <laughs> pretty much it's a nice version of the old meme okay so let's move on to TikTok otherwise I'll be here for hours just looking at artwork <laughs> but it's been really interesting to see all the different variations and renditions of the character of the same character and also seeing the different art styles as well but let's go over to TikTok and see what I have I've only got a couple on here actually that I've saved but for anyone who uses TikTok uh, this <laughs> welcome to like 10 minutes later so basically I've realized that if you favorite a video on TikTok and don't like and and only favorite it it won't show up in your favorites list on desktop because that doesn't exist yet so yay <laughs> but yeah i've only got about three or four on here so yeah I just oh is this sauna by ramstein yeah oh that's awesome Yay! Oh, I love that image so much. It's so good. I just love the smell of fear. That's awesome. I like how this is edited really well with the music as well. I am hearing everyone out. <laughs> I feel like this character is like everyone realizing they're a furry as well. <laughs> 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 Come on, we have to have a FNAF one in here somewhere. <laughs> we had to have another FNAF one in here somewhere. <laughs> had to be in here somewhere. That's so funny. He looks terrified. It's just Freddy. And lastly. The most awesome thing ever! Look at that! That's so cool! Oh, that looks amazing! Wow! That's so cool! The attention to detail is really nice as well. That is all I have for today. I don't know how long this video is actually going to be. It might be quite long. Uh, admittedly, on Twitter, I did have a lot more artwork bookmarked. But again, like I said, if we were going to look at all of them, we'd be here forever. <laughs> um, TikTok, I didn't find as many edits, actually, as I thought I was going to find. But on, on Twitter, I think the artwork has kind of taken it over more than the edits. But yeah, it's been really interesting to see everyone's sort of work and appreciation for this character. Because I, I do think it is one of the best characters that DreamWorks has written. And yeah, I think sort of the meaning behind him and everything is really, really cool and quite unique. Especially for something like a Puss in Boots film. Like it, It's actually quite mature for, for what people thought was going to be a kid's film. Um... But his design of the wolf is the design of the wolf is just really cool as well. But yeah, I just thought we'd go through some fan art and yeah, I had fun. <laughs> but again, the links to all of everything that I've reacted to in this video will be down in the description below. I will probably put the yeah, I'll put them in order of what I reacted to within the video. So you guys can go off and look at these and watch them, etc. But yeah, it's been really nice to look at everyone's work because a lot of them are amazing and very good. But this was, um, I guess, a deaf wolf appreciation video. <laughs> well, thank you all for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye!